I got the viral Tris Van Norton sample set. I saw my girl, My Fragrance Trail, post this about a week and a half ago. So I had to get it and try it because number one, if you do not know about Tris Van Norton as a fashion designer, please check out his clothes. I love his aesthetic just in general. I'm very into prints, bold colors, and Tris Van Norton does that very well. And so I am expecting that this collection is not going to disappoint. Um, it's going to be a first reaction. I haven't smelled it. I just popped it open. So let's take a look. All right. So, so beautiful. okay. Ooh, that is so beautiful. So this is what made me buy this sample set. The look of it, the aesthetic of it, very unique, very fashion forward. Um, it almost makes you feel like it's art, right? And so I feel like this is really apropos for Driss Van Norton because it fits his aesthetic. Um, so let's take a look at what we have here. So these are what the full size bottles look like. My girl sent me um, a link to get a full size body of the bottle of this. I was gonna invest, and then I was like, you know what? I want to actually smell it before I purchase a full size bottle because it is a little pretty. It's a pretty penny, and I have so many fragrances that I've been buying lately. And I'm like, some are hit or miss. Like some I really really love, others not so much. So I want to make sure that I'm being um, cost conscious and that I'm actually trying out samples and wearing them and making sure that they fit with my body chemistry before I invest in a full bottle. So this is what it looks like. So I'm really excited to smell this one, but I really love the aesthetic of all of them. Really into this as well. So let's take a sniff test. First one is Jardin. Um, it has orange blossom and Santel. The vials are very cute. Um, one thing, I was like trying to figure out if the vial itself is printed or if it's just like a backdrop. Okay, it's just a backdrop. If you can see, like it's, the backdrop is what you're seeing and it's just a clear vial like this. Um, let's do this one. It's pretty. It's very pretty. Um, not something I would usually gravitate towards. Probably wouldn't buy a full-size bottle of this. You definitely smell, you know, it's it smells very floral. I don't pick up on a huge ton of orange, but it's nice. It's it's not it's not bad. The next one we have is Neon Garden. It has mint and iris. Those are the main accords. It's nice. It smells very fresh. You definitely get that iris. It's like very like it opens up very fresh you do get a little bit of the mint i like it um it depends on how all the other ones kind of perform but i would certainly want to rock this this is definitely one that i would do like on a sunday day if i was doing like errands or going out and i wanted to smell fresh um you know or maybe even to bed. Like, I, I could rock that to bed. For those of you guys who wear fragrance to bed, I wear fragrance to bed. The next one here is Rose Carnova. It has rose and vetiver in it. I'm not a huge fan of vetiver. Mmm. Surprisingly. I actually really like that. I'm sorry. I actually really like that a lot. That's like a really nice rose um scent so that actually surprised me the next one is raving rose this one is pepper and rose i not bad it is very spicy you definitely pick up on the pepper the rose is certainly there it's not as strong as i was expecting Rose fragrances are hit or miss. It depends on how it performs on my body. So I would definitely wear this sample and see how it performed on me. Um, if they have bigger sizes, I might want to invest in like a bigger sample size just so that I can wear it for multiple days just to see how it performs and the longevity of it. But it's not bad. I actually, actually was surprised by that one as well. The next one I'm really excited about, it's Cannabis Patchouli. Uh, I've been getting into a lot of cannabis scents. Actually, we're um, coming out with a hemp oil that has a little bit of can cannabis scent in it. It's really nice. We actually just got samples. Ooh. This one? This one right here? 
I would certainly do a full bottle of one because it's very unique. I feel like this is not one that you're going to smell a whole bunch of people wearing it. I would certainly use it as a layering fragrance. I could see my husband really liking this. It does skew a little bit more masculine to me, but I like it. I, that's one that's like probably one that I would say without a doubt I'd buy a full bottle. Um, I think if I'm not mistaken, don't quote me, I think the bottles are go, go for like 300 ish dollars, maybe a little bit more. You might be able to get it on sale. But the next one, did I just look at that one? No, the next one is Santal Greenery. This one has fig and Santal. Yeah, definitely not my s speed. But for those of you guys who like something that is fresh, you like green, earthy scents, this one will be a good one for you to try. Definitely try the sample before you get a full bottle because I feel like that one is probably really polarizing. You're either going to love it or you're going to hate it. The next one is Voodoo Chile. They're hard to get out of this little bottle. Hold on. All right, this one has rosemary and patchouli. Yeah, that one is really strong. The rosemary comes through very, very strong. It it smells... Out of my hand I don't really like that one at all um it just smells very earthy if you like that you probably love it rock the myrrh is the next one it's actually really hard to get out of these little boxes this one has myrrh and smoked wood mm -hmm. definitely a full-size bottle of this this is actually sweet. I it, I wasn't expecting that. When I hear smoke wood, I think earthy, dry, maybe a little bit spicy. This one is beautiful. Like, I would certainly buy a full-size bottle of this and the cannabis patchouli. They're very unique. I'm a layer girl, so I'm probably never going to just wear a fragrance by itself. I might go a little heavy-handed as, like, my base. But this is really, really nice. I don't know what else is in here. But it's beautiful. This is a beautiful one. The Rock the Myrrh is beautiful. Remember when I told you guys? Let me show you guys. Remember when I told you I was really fascinated by it or I liked it because of the bottle? It's this one right here. Definitely getting a full-size bottle of that. Ooh, my pockets are already screaming at me. The next one, so two more, Flora du Mal. This one is Os Osmathus and Suede. Interesting. All right, this one, yeah. Ooh. This one I like as well. This one is actually really pretty. It's not as strong. I don't know how it would wear on. I definitely want to wear this and see how it performs, but I like it. Yeah, this is definitely one I would certainly rock the sample maybe rock this sample tomorrow just to see how it works with my body chemistry i like it a lot just from the bottle you definitely smell the floral nature of it but it doesn't smell like it's going to last a whole long time but let me not discredit it before i give it a try but that's definitely one that i'm intrigued about and last but certainly not least the one that my girl um kind of put me onto this one is the of course the one that I can't pronounce sorry so soy okay I can't pronounce it but it has chestnut and silk in it let me open it hmm beautiful this is beautiful this is right up my alley definitely something that I would wear it has a very nutty aroma this is gonna really do well with like if you go in with a body oil if you go in with like a tobacco vanilla body oil and you pair this on top i think it's gonna perform very very well Ooh, i get the silk it's creamy Ooh, it has it's sweet it's creamy it's nutty it's absolutely beautiful. It also feels a little bit floral. So there's a couple of them in here that I would absolutely pick. Um, so this one, this one, maybe this one, and definitely this one. Tris Van Norton.